Hello folks, this is Greg from Modular Curiosity and welcome once again to 10 Minute Module. Today I'm going to be talking about the Frozen Wasteland Quad Euclidean Rhythm. So let's start the clock and get right into it. Okay, so what are Euclidean Rhythms? Well, from the name you might expect that is somehow related to the 4th century BC mathematician Euclid, and you would be right. And it's based on what's called the Euclidean algorithm. And basically, it was a way of finding the greatest common divisor of two integers that divides them both without leaving a remainder. And what it comes down to is this algorithm, this way of breaking down into smaller and smaller groups to find out how can you say fit how many of these C's into A, and so on and so forth. It winds up finding some really interesting rhythmic combinations if you look at those divisions as rhythmic. That probably made no sense at all. It's going to make a lot more sense if we look at it visually. So let's go back to Rack and take a look at this. Okay, so I've zoomed in here, and what we have is this clock walking across in 16 beats. And on channel 4 here I have a drum, a kick drum, and I've divided these 16 beats into two divisions. Now that makes a lot of sense to us, right? And if I went to four divisions, remember we're looking at the bottom row here, that also makes sense to us. Okay, well four divisions out of 16 beats is every four beats, we do that all the time. So quickly tell me how many beats would be between three no fractions allowed. Well, you're right. 3 doesn't go into 16. 3 goes into 18, but it doesn't go into 16, so how do we divide it by 3? Well, as a result of that algorithm we were looking at earlier, we can actually do that. We can say, okay, we'll have 3, but notice that the divisions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 between the, these two beats, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's as close as you can get it and yes, they're not going to be even, but this is the closest distribution you can get. What if we did 5? And all I'm doing is I'm turning the division knob here. This is the number of steps. Bum, bum, bum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hey, what if we put, say, 8 divisions here? probably heard that rhythm before and not really realized what it was. Well, it's a Euclidean rhythm. It's a way of breaking up breaking up an integer number of divisions that does not normally fit within the number of steps. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give four beats per 16 so we have nice quarter notes. That way we can hear our rhythm. But guess what? It turns out that we don't have to have Euclidean rhythms over 16. So for example, I'm going to bring this down to say 5. Now, how would I divide 3 beats over 5? 1, 2, I'll turn this division knob until I get 3. So I have 5 beats here, and I've split 3, which means I'm going to have a little double beat. For bump, bump. Let's see what that sounds like, and I'm going to put it over to this resonator. That's kind of an interesting polyrhythm, isn't it? Well, guess what? I have four channels. So I'll tell you what, let's take the steps of the next one down to say seven. And let me put five beats. There's three, four, five? No, how about, how about four? Let's try four, why not? Because we have a 5-beat pattern and a 7-beat pattern, they're sort of cycling. Even though they visually say they line up here, line up here, line up here, 
because this is a longer pattern, you can see from where the green boxes are, that's the current beat, that they're offset. We're creating these really cool polyrhythms. So now let's add a third one. How about maybe a nine? Perhaps four over nine? Why not? some really interesting rhythms. How about if we space this out to say three divisions over nine? Now three, that would be an even number of divisions, right? Notice how these yellow squares are lined up. I'm going to push them to the right. Oh, wrong knob, wrong knob. There we go. I'm going to push them to the right. So I'm offsetting where that beat is. So what if I do something like feed a square wave to the offset? how often there it goes there it goes okay so as this square wave is going up and down notice it's shifting these there it goes so we can get some really interesting rhythms by shifting within the number of steps the divisions so let's do that with the offset of the third one bring him back in and we should see this switch up oh, there it is see it there there's a shift so now we're getting even more constantly changing variation pad is really kind of interesting so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this step back up to 16 and I'm gonna put say better yet better yet let's bring it down to say 10 okay let's do 3 over 10 now pad right now there are 3 over 10 well what I'm saying is there's 10 steps three divisions but what I can do is I can move those three divisions within the pad see so I've moved the three divisions I've squished them off to the right that's what pad is doing well you can see if I turn access it's gonna highlight cells on those cells I'm gonna get a pulse here so let's say click that's because on that one I'm pushing the structure way up high and of course accent rotate is I could rotate where those accents are
that is exceedingly cool. All right, folks, that's the Quad Euclidean Rhythm Generator. This is Greg from Modular Curiosity and 10 Minute Modules, and I'm sending this back to you, Nigel. All right, remember, stay curious.